Yes guys, yes people, welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. Welcome to the biggest day in the last nine years of Chelsea Football Club. It yes guys, this video is sponsored by OneFootball. Check it out, the link is down in the description below. OneFootball is the most reliable app you can have for all footballing news regarding any team in Europe, be it club football, be it international football. The one place you can go for the most reliable football news is the OneFootball app. So guys, check it out, the link is down in the description below. Check out all sorts of news regarding your favourite club check out the transfer indicator app on one football to check out the reliability of it but check out the one football app the most reliable app for your footballing news is down in the description below check it out guys champions league final we're out here we're in the middle of porto i've got sammy and the guys at the drinks already big up everyone who's locked in smash the like and subscribe button this day has been so heavily anticipated over the last few weeks and it's mad to even think that we're in the position where we are just hours away from being in the Champions League final. And despite all of the big spending that we had in the summer and all the potential that we kind of hyped ourselves up with and to an extent overhyped ourselves up with as well, I don't think we ever seriously thought that we would be in a Champions League final this quickly, be it under Thomas Tuchel, be it even under Frank Lampard in itself. I don't think any of us expected to be in the Champions League final. So for us to be here, it's an achievement in itself. We've been enjoying the day. I got here at like 8.30 a.m. I barely slept, but this kind of worked to my advantage as well because me not sleeping means I'm too tired to be anxious about this game. I just want to get to kickoff because as soon as it's done, I'll probably be able to get some sleep afterwards. Well, I say that if we win, I'm probably going to be riding that way for the next 12 hours. And I won't be able to sleep off that. And if we lose, I'm going to cry myself to sleep. So I don't even know if that's going to be a positive in itself. But regardless, we are still here. It's, it's nice, sunny Porto. I'm not going to lie, slightly dead, but that's probably due to Rona regulations and restrictions that are still in place around the city. So I'm not going to say too much, but it has been a pretty dull last few hours while we've been waiting for the time to tick down before we actually get to go to the ground and experience the Champions League final for itself. But it's our first ever Champions League final. They were facing... Um, well, my first Champions League final, not the club. It's Manchester City's first Champions League final. And the last seven teams to have debuted in a Champions League final have lost. And those stats mean absolute jack shit, but that might give us a bit more of a positive to take into the game. But if we're going to talk, to, if we're gonna talk about it from an in-game perspective, there's not really a lot separating the two teams. And I think that's the most nervous part about the game for me. Is that I can't really read how this game is going to go. Both teams aren't really that clinical. Man City makes slightly more chances than us. Both defences are solid. You can make an argument that City's defence is solid. You can make an argument that Chelsea's defence is more solid. Midfield, that's a question mark in itself. Because City, City's strength usually comes from its midfield. But our midfield, I think, can give them a run for their money on their day as well. So it can really go both ways. Jorginho and Kante on their day, they can keep Man City's midfield quiet. When we played them in the, in the FA Cup semi-final, he had De Bruyne in his back pocket. And N'Golo Kante just kept Fernandinho quiet, including Mason Mount as well, who had him spinning for 90 minutes. So with that in mind, I can be slightly confident based on the midfield. It is just the attack. But we've got Sammy Ooh. here as well. What are you saying, bro? Their weather is bath right now. I'm confident. You know on the streams, I'm always the negative one. I'm actually confident for once. I'm, look, I'm smiling. And, you, you and, sure I'm it's because Vern, and I'm singing the Vernal song. You would have well not like you think I refuse to sing that. No, I was saying, do you think it's because of the game itself or the occasion? Because we can just be gassed as the Champions Excuse? League final, but still go in there bricking it, it. This is a sensitive game for me because um, I went to Moscow when I was a kid, and because of that, me and my dad was too scared to go to Munich, mm -hmm. and of course we win that. So this trip is like um, like redeeming ourselves. From yeah, so I was following you on that as well. If I lose today, that's two Champions League finals in my life that I've lost. So that's quite big. No, but I was, I was following you on that as well because you said you massively regretted missing Munich and I didn't want to be in the position where yeah, I'm massively yeah, yeah. missing this as well. So even though, well, I can't lie, the city is absolutely dead. If, if we win it? tonight, oh, this is so boring, man. Yeah, but Bar you know, the fans but zone, the there's nothing The thing is, if we there. win, we're just going to run to that Champions League trophy thing and just celebrate, innit? Do the bouncy. Like, it doesn't need to be the You, man, will. They're anyway. dragging us out here, out of here immediately on the, oh, on the sports break right street. Yeah, but yeah. what time to go home? Uh, land in Gatwick. 3.50? 3.50. Go, go to the bus parade, isn't it? Summer Bridge. 
That's not, is that actually happening? I heard on Twitter, but I don't know if it's official. Nah, club would have confirmed it by now. But, um, yeah, but it's a shame. I reckon there's a party at Stamford Bridge. It's a Sunday, isn't it? There might still be people outside there. There might still be man drinking. Maybe. Regardless, if we win the Champions League, I'm not going to be sleeping for the next night. Nah. Either just looking back on the match day vlog footage, which, by the way, is already looking like it's going to be a madness and oh. the game hasn't even kicked off. I'm going through every single comment from this season to, from the Arsenal fans calling us rubbish. We're, we're going to get knocked out by uh, Setico Madrid, Real Madrid, City. I, that's going to be a conversation in itself because if mm. we win two Champions Leagues, I've already said I am not entertaining a London is debate anymore because it's just pointless. And if I have to, many topics. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. you get the Aston Villa and Forest fans. Oh, we've won it the same amount. Blah blah blah. that. Mm -hmm. There's so many things. There's, there is that and even then I'll say Nottingham Forest are bigger than us just for bands because it means mm -hmm. they're bigger than Arsenal too mm -hmm. and I'm fine by that but in the case of the London argument we're done if we win two Champions League trophies no other London club has even won one and we've won double the rest of the of this entire city and even as it stands right now even we already have finals. more European trophies than every other team in London combined so if we win two Champions Leagues that's it done now but you said finalists as well we three this is our third finalist Yes. Arsenal, Arsenal had one in Barcelona, that's it. Yeah, and Spurs only had that one at, uh, yeah. at Atletico Madrid as well. So I know what you're saying too. But we already know the London debate is dead anyway because we're Chelsea fans and we know where our loyalties lie on this anyway. What team do you think is going to start? Okay, I haven't heard any news, but I've heard good. I've seen videos of Mendy training. Good, you, thank the Lord. No, I've heard but Mendy is... I've seen him training, so I'm going to say him. From what I've heard, we've had no injuries going into this game. I don't, I don't want to ruin the mood, but if Kepa's starting, I'm going to know. Like, before the rush hour one... If Kepa's starting, it's a sticky one still. <laughs> I don't want to even say too much because he could come and drop a masterclass and that would be the perfect goodbye for him too. <laughs> yeah. Because what's that picture of... Um, that Photoshop picture you have of him? Oh, yep. that Champions League that you post on like every phone and show. Can you imagine that in real life now? It's bad to even think the amount of agendas that get dropped. And Alonso with the Champions League final. Alonso with a yeah, Champions well, League trophy. Tammy with a Champions team. League trophy. Andreas Christensen with Mount. a Champions League trophy. Mount as well. Every agenda is getting thrown in the mud if we win the Champions League. But that's the positivity in itself. Oh, Who would you say was going to be in your side lineup anyway? You know what? I want the same real, I want the same lineup for that we had for Real Madrid. But the only change I would do, I, was, I would put Rhys James right wing back. Over Asper Equator? Yeah, and then Asper Equator back to centre, go to centre back. So you go for a bit but more of an attacking is Chris, team? Is Chris um, your guy? Is he Christian all fit? Is should, yeah, everyone's fit. fit. Everyone's fit. Okay, that's good. Yeah, for me, I was just going the same team as the Madrid second leg. I'd keep mm. Azpilicueta a wing back just for a bit more defensive solidity. But if you want to go at more attacking as well, I could go Reese James too. So I understand so that. But like for me, James I wouldn't make a lot of changes. In the, in the last he was, but I don't think Mendy starts. Because both times we played Man City, we both rotated. I think so we play was, our strongest teams FA now. Up, yeah. And I don't think Mendy's in their strongest side. I think it'd be more Zinchenko if you look here, but... That's why it's really hard to tell this game because we haven't played our best 11 versus our best 11. The only time you can really say is January and Dad Lampard tax on it. So I ain't yeah, even true. that serious. But as a final question, what's your score prediction? Can't do that to me, bro. Uh, Aye, as long as you don't say anything wild like 4 0, it's nothing too uh, deep. If it would be 4 0, it would be 4 0 City. But <laughs> Probably. Um, oh, I, I really don't want to do this one. I really don't. I'm going to say 1 0 Chelsea. Yeah, I'm going to just say 1-0 no, Chelsea no, too. I was going to say the exact if same thing the as you. Won't be surprised. Please don't. I, I don't have the mental if, fortitude if Mendy, for penalties. If, if we go to penalties, Mendy has to come off. Mendy well, has, has, Kepa. <laughs> Mendy has to Kepa. come off, you know. He has to. But Kepa as well. I need that legacy performance that he had against Frankfurt mm. if he comes on. It'll be the perfect remontada from the last time we played City in the cup final anyway. But... Guys, we are going to head off and we're going to enjoy the rest of the scenery. We will see you guys after the game where we're either two times champions of Europe or we've lost and you won't be seeing me in general. But we big might up. be, can't 100% confirm it, but we might be having a special guest appearance from Rotorsport. I didn't even know that one was coming, but we come with the surprises. Big up everyone who's locked in. Smash the like and subscribe button to Chelsea Fan TV if you guys haven't done so already. And we'll see you guys after the game. Let's go, Chelsea. Come on.